Hello, good afternoon. My name is Andrew Carpentier, and today I'll be presenting about Avitas Zildjian Company, one of, a, one of the leading uh, musical firms in the United States. So, a, uh, a little introduction to the company. Uh, it's a leading producer of cymbals, drumsticks, and other percussion-related equipment. Uh, it is headquartered in Norwell, Massachusetts. The current firm was incorporated in 1929. Uh, it's, it has the longest traceable history of any business inside the United States, and it is one of the longest running family businesses in the United States. So first, uh, the key players in the company, keep in mind, uh, the history of this company traces back nearly 400 years. So there have been a couple. Uh, the main ones, though, we're going to focus on are Avitas 1, Avitas 2, Aram, Avitas 3, Armand, Robert, and Craigie. So let's start with Avitas I. Uh, Avitas I was an Armenian alchemist who lived in 17th century Constantinople, which is present-day Istanbul, Turkey. Um, he was an alchemist that was created a new fusion alloy process while attempting to create gold. Uh, instead of creating gold, he instead created an alloy primarily of copper and tin with traces of silver uh, that was perfect for making symbols for religious ceremonies, weddings, uh, and other events. Um, he received the last name Zildjian from the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire, uh, Zildjian combining two Armenian words together meaning symbol maker. Uh, he established his symbol production business in the suburbs of Constantinople in 1623. Moving forward 200 years uh, is Avitas II. Um, Avitas II was the primary symbol producer of the family, uh, operating from 1851 to 1865. Uh, he was also the first to brand the business using the last name Zildjian. Uh, previously, the business had been known as Turkish Symbols. Um, Avitas II was quite the marketer. He traveled Europe and the Middle East, going to trade shows, concerts, other events, uh, promoting his symbols to musicians and artists across that country. Uh, next up is Aram. Uh, Aram uh, is the second son of Avitas II. Uh, he operated the business from 1909 to 1929, uh, at which point he was convinced by his nephew Avitas III, who we'll get to in a second, uh, to relocate the business from Turkey to the United States. Uh, he was instrumental up in the transition from Turkey to the United States. Avitas III, uh, born in 1889, he immigrated to America in 1908, and in America, while Aram was running the symbol business in Turkey, uh, Avitas III ran a successful confection and candy company in Massachusetts. Um, Aram had asked him to come back to Turkey to help run the business, which is when Avitas III convinced him to relocate the business to the United States. Uh, because of this, he's considered the father of symbols in the business because he was really the one that convinced uh, his family to move the business to the United States, creating such a big market. Uh, he was also a key figure because they successfully navigated the Great Depression, opening, starting the business in 1929 at the outset of the Great Depression um, not typically a good idea, but he was able to capitalize on uh, the popularity of jazz and big band music, uh, and, and uh, that created demand to uh, navigate the Great Depression and uh, move the company forward during poor economic conditions. Next is Armand. Uh, he is the oldest son of Avitas III. Uh, he is also the first family member to be born and raised in the United States. Uh, that was heavily involved with the business. Um, he was involved with the company for 65 years, holding a number of jobs with the company. Um, and his strong suit was research and development. Uh, he was instrumental in creating new product lines that, uh, that aided in uh, creating new revenue streams for the company. Um, and he also, the new product lines led to a wider uh, range of products for different musicians. Next is uh, Armand's brother, Robert, the younger son of Avitas III. Uh, he, held, he, like Armand, held many jobs at the company. 
Uh, he was eventually tasked with leading the subsidiary ASCO uh, of Zildjian. Um, he eventually also had a dispute with his brother Robert uh, following the death of Avidus III in 1979. Uh, this dispute led to Robert leaving Zildjian and forming rival symbol maker Sabian. Uh, Sabian coming from an acronym of the names of his children. Uh, Sabian is still one of the leading symbol producers also and Zildjian's primary competitor. So a little bit of family issues led to cr the creation of a competitor. Um, and he established Sabian in 1981. And lastly we have Craigie. Craigie is the daughter of Armand, so she is Robert's niece. Um, she's the current CEO, appointed in 1999, and the first female family member to head the business. Um, she was also heavily involved in the merger uh, with Vic Firth, Inc., a, a leading drumstick manufacturer in 2010. So that helped create new revenue streams uh, as Zildjian moved from producing solely cymbals to also producing sticks and other percussion equipment. Okay, then a little bit about the company and family history, just run through it. The early origins can be traced to 1623 with Avitas I, first coming up with that alloy for symbols. Um, passed down 200 years and several generations to Avitas II, who was really the first to get the company off the ground by branding it with the family name. Uh, and he was the one that had traveled to trade shows promoting the symbols. Um, next were Aram and Avitas III. This is really the first uh, part of the company that we know today in America. Aram and Avitas III relocated the business from Turkey to the United States with Avitas III getting it off the ground and working through the Great Depression. Um, Armand and Robert joined uh, the sons of Avitas III. They joined with Armand staying for 65 years as mentioned earlier. Uh, Robert stayed also for over four decades before starting Sabian. Uh, and now Craigie is running the company present day and Zildjian currently is an in industry leader. So now let's talk a little more about the departure of Robert Zildjian. Uh, it began with the death of his father, Avitas III, in 1979. Uh, as was uh, tradition in the family, Avitas left the company to both his sons, Armand and Robert. However, Armand, being the eldest, uh, maintained the controlling share of the company, which alienated Robert as he felt that he had committed just as much to the company as Armand and that he was capable also of running the company. This led to a two-year legal dispute uh, with, that de uh, determined that Robert would be left with the uh, controlling interest of the subsidiary, ASCO, while Armand would be controlling of the entire parent company. Uh, this was not acceptable to Robert, so he ultimately left the business and formed Sabian in 1981, uh, which is now remains um, a main competitor. So in terms of the company and family standing today, uh, as mentioned earlier, Craigie Zildjian is the CEO. Debbie Zildjian is the VP of Human Resources, and they employ 107 people with estimated revenues of 48 million. Uh, this has been a family business for over 15 generations. Uh, in terms of their trajectory, they're currently an industry leader with minimal competition, only two major competitors. Uh, they also have the endorsement of several prominent artists, including Taylor Hawkins of Foo Fighters and Matt Cameron of Pearl Jam. Uh, they have multiple product line expansion opportunities that could open up new revenue streams, and they are very uh, healthy financially. Uh, they also have maintained private ownership and have not gone public. Personally, as a drummer for over 10 years and a user of products, they do have high quality products. Uh, they have excellent succession planning and execution of those plans, minus the handling of Robert Zildjian's departure. Uh, that could have been handled a lot better and could have presented or prevented a competitor from entering the market. Uh, the passion of the family members to continue the business is strong, and they are, as again, well positioned for the future. So in conclusion, uh, Zildjian is a 400-year-old 400 com 400 company spanning two continents which is incredible. Uh, they're well positioned for the future and adept at overcoming obstacles, whether it be economic or other ob obstacles, and they are a prime example of a well-run family business. Uh, thank you.